Hey guys, Holly Randall here, and I am here to do a Q&A where I'm answering questions directly from you guys, my listeners. So anyways, I want to answer some questions that a bunch of you people have sent me over the last few months, and I just haven't really been able to get to them. A lot of you guys have been emailing me these questions, and if you want to email me questions for future Q&As, you can do that. It's hollyrandallunfiltered at gmail.com, and I will try to get to all of your questions, unless, of course, they're really stupid questions, and then I won't be answering those at all. Okay, so my first question is, how far along are you in your pregnancy right now, and how has it been for you? So I am currently five months pregnant, and I have to say, like, my belly has really just kind of popped all of a sudden in the last couple of weeks. For the first few months, I really just felt like I was getting fat, and now I'm starting to, like, really feel pregnant. I can feel that um, when I try to bend over or, like, sit up, it, there's, like, something in my way. It's really weird. So I'm definitely starting to feel and look more pregnant which is exciting, you know? I'm really trying to embrace this journey. I've been incredibly fortunate. It's been a really easy pregnancy for me so far. I've had no morning sickness the entire time. I have not had any hormonal mood swings. Like, my husband was convinced I was gonna turn into this like crazy raging bitch that you hear about all the time who would like cry at commercials and um, freak out because he didn't load the dishwasher right. None of that has happened. I'm pretty much exactly the same person. And so I feel really lucky. Um, it's been so far, again, I'm only five months. It's been pretty easy. The one thing that I have noticed, which just kind of started, is this kind of like tendon, um, this ligament pain that I guess that you get, like in your pelvis area, just from your, the baby basically stretching out your tendons um, because the baby is getting bigger and starting to like really push on my pelvis. And so there was like this period of 24 hours where I was like having a lot of pain and, and almost could feel like I could barely walk. And that was a little bit scary. But luckily, we had a doctor's appointment the next day. And she told me it's totally normal and guess what? You're pregnant and you're not always going to be comfortable and you're not always going to be able to do everything that you want to do. So just enjoy it. And I was like, okay, well, at least I'm in quarantine right now and I can't actually really do anything that physical anyhow. Cause I have to say, like, I was worried about like what happens if I'm in the middle of shooting and that occurs. I'm so physical on my sets, you know, and, and my crew is so small, I do so much. I do the camera work. I do the directing. I do the photography. I do the styling. I do the PA work. I often like move furniture, you know, with my assistants. Like I do everything. So I'm thinking, how am I going to go back to work and, you know, not do everything like I normally do? But, you know, the people that I work with are really great. Like Eva said, she'll totally step up and help me. So, um, if I happen to go back to work before I give birth, um, I'm going to definitely be depending on my crew a lot more. And I'm already grateful to them for the help that I know they're going to give me. So my next question is, what has been the most rewarding thing about doing your podcast? So definitely the most rewarding thing about my podcast has been the ability to really learn from other people. I've had some amazing guests on who have really shown me my internal biases that I didn't even really realize I had and made me think about things in a completely different way. It's been incredibly educational and I feel like it's really helped me grow as a person. Um, some great examples are Michael Vegas when he came on and kind of talked about, you know, men enjoying anal play and how he enjoys pegging. And I've always associated that with, you know, men being submissive. And he kind of taught me that you can be penetrated by a woman, but still retain the dominant role. I had never really thought about it in that way. And that was a real eye opener for me. So that was really great. Also having um, guests on like Ricky Johnson, who openly talked about the racism in porn and how problematic the interracial category is and how people of color are underrepresented, underpaid. We really need more diversity and more fairness in the adult industry. And I really appreciate 
people like him coming on and helping to open my eyes to situations like that because I've always felt that the idea of girls charging more for interracial and that whole IRA thing was like really not fair. But I also felt as a producer, it's not up to me to dictate to people what their rates can be. And I still feel that way. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to structure your payments, but I can also choose to not support people who insist on commanding a higher rate to work with black men. And that is something that he really opened my eyes to. So I really appreciate getting lessons like that. Who have been some of my guests who have been unexpectedly great? Okay, so I don't, <laughs> I, when I answer this question, I don't want to make it sound like I thought they were going to come in and they were like going to be terrible. But, you know, I don't always know everybody who I have on incredibly well. And so I'm not entirely sure like how the conversation is going to go. I don't exactly know what they're like as an interviewee. It's hard to judge. And I've definitely had people on who I thought were going to be really great interviews and were not so awesome. And then I've had people on who are were like, okay, we'll see how this goes. And they were like amazing. And I was completely blown away. Um, some off the top of my head that I can think, uh, the first time I interviewed Lena Paul, I was so impressed by how incredibly intelligent she was. I really enjoyed that interview very, very much. I can't remember what episode it is, but I'm pretty sure it's titled, um, sisterhood of the no pants, because, like as a joke on sisterhood of the traveling pants, which was somehow, I don't know how we came up with that joke during the episode, but that was pretty funny. So that was a really good one. Adria Ray was awesome. She came on and talked really eloquently about how engaging in consensual rough sex helped her heal from past traumas that she'd had with physical abuse, which was a really interesting perspective because I myself have never dealt with any kind of abuse as a child, no mental, no physical, no sexual, anything like that. So I don't really understand what it's like to have to deal with that. And the idea that somebody can use sex as a tool to heal from something like that was, was something I'd never really considered and I didn't know one could do. And the way that she explains it is so brilliant and just uh, really had me thinking about human sexuality in an entirely different way, which is why I love my show so much. You know, it gives me so much perspective on different people's ways of coping with different challenges in life. Who are some of the people that I admire most in the adult industry? Um, well, I have to say I'm really excited about, and I very much admire our growing roster of female directors. There is a lot of incredibly intelligent people and brilliantly talented women who are shaping the future of the adult industry. Uh, Caden Cross, obviously, Brie Mills, um, Jackie St. James, and there's also some new up-and-coming directors who have been doing incredible work. Lena Paul, Whitney Wright, and it's just really wonderful to see women really, you know, shift the narrative of porn and show that all different kinds of porn can be made and porn can be made from a female perspective and it can be uh, a story and it can be a story that's compelling and it can be something that both men and women want to watch. So I really admire all of those women that are really stepping up into that directing role. In terms of performers, I, I really admire Angela White. Obviously, I mean, who doesn't? She's just so professional and she's such an intense performer. I mean, she really, you know, I've been shooting adult for a long time and I know when someone's like faking it or if someone's like really just loves sex and Angela just loves it. I mean, she's just, it, the scene consumes her and it's, it's a wonderful thing to see because that's, I feel like when porn really kind of becomes like art, it's really, it's really beautiful. Also too, she's just, she's incredibly popular. She's super famous. She's like the number one porn star 
right now and she's so humble and she's so sweet and she's so gracious and she's grateful to be on every set that she's on and she treats everybody with an immense amount of respect. She remembers all my crews, their names. She remembers, you know, what uh, their lives. She asks after their families. Like she's just, she's just a really genuine person. And that's just such an incredibly wonderful thing to see. I really, really love that. I also really admire um, some of the young stars who I feel like very much have a great head on their shoulders and are really a wonderful representat representation of young women in the industry. Adria Ray is one. Um, I think that she's got a great head on her shoulders. And, you know, she went through a really trying and public um, time. You know, it, it kind of got splashed all over social media. You can go back and watch my interview with her to learn more about it. And the way that she handled that with such grace and and learned from it and really used her experience to better herself as a person I loved. I thought that was really wonderful. And that kind of um, uh, emotional maturity is is something that I really admire. So I really respect her as well. Okay, guys, that's all the questions I have for now. Thank you so much for sending them. I just want to give another shout out to all of my listeners. You guys are awesome, and I really appreciate your support, especially big shout out to all of my Patreon members. Uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this show, honestly, and it means so much to me that you guys are willing to financially support me and also just like the wonderful messages that you send me. It's just, uh, it really like helps keep me going. You guys are awesome. So thank you guys so much. I will definitely be doing more of these in the future. So make sure that you send me any questions that you might have. That's hollyrandallunfiltered at gmail.com. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.